Hello there and welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, I'm excited to share to you that we are diving into one of the most important aspects of financial management, that is adding receipts in QuickBooks Online. Most of the people in the industry and the businesses believe that this is a game changer for keeping your records and organized and tax ready but before we get started if you haven't subscribed already please consider hitting the subscribe button below and clicking on the notification bell that way you'll stay updated and won't miss any of our future content now adding receipts in quickbooks online offers several advantages number one is it improves record keeping enhancing financial organization you know and the simplified tax proliferation can be very efficient it streamlines expense tracking it ha it offers an efficient audit trail you know qbo maintains an audit trail of all changes made to your financial data including receipt entries it simplified tax preparation and the issue of you know paper clutter so Digitizing receipts reduces paper clutter in your office and your company, contributing to a more organized and environmental-friendly workspace. What else can you ask for? And last but not the least is the mobile accessibility. QBO offers a mobile app, allowing you to add receipts on the go. Of course, it ensures you capture expenses in real time even when you are not at your computer. Let's say you're on holiday and just want to check passively on your mobile that is very convenient. Now, before we go into uh, adding sales receipt on QBO, I just wanted to ensure, uh, make sure that we you are using the same version that I'm using because right now in my in my end in the interface that I'm using, you can see uh, there's a new option here at the very top of the of the interface. When you click on that new it gives you a plethora of options here. Now you go to the customer, customer tab, be below credit note. So the invoice, received payment, estimate, credit note, and sales receipt. That's what, what we are looking for. You just have to click on that and it will prompt you to a new window. Now, uh, you can choose the customer. Depends really on the, the business. And for the tutorial purposes what might we wanted to do is just use the sample customer so it automatically populates the billing address the sales receipt, receipt date and if you have an existing customer if you choose that it auto populate as well so you don't have to worry doing that it, that's that's the purpose of having a qbo online now for the email you know maybe we can just make Uh, a dummy account for now for the training purposes and then after that you you can see uh, the tags here you don't have to worry about the tags for now but the tags gives you a lot of uh, options here let's say uh let's say this is our rec our, rec our history of that they have done to you right something like that or you can customize it by clicking the manage tags you can create tag on your own uh, uh on your own on your own uh, information or you can create group depends really but we are not going to dive deep into it we have a separate video for that i'm just uh i'm just uh clicking that option for the training purposes now we just have to exit this one after that we are going to the payment method now there's a lot of options here you can choose the cash the check the credit card and direct debit now for now we're gonna use the cash because most of the uh, let's say check it has a reference number obviously but for now you're gonna use check to not make it more complicated and then deposit to you you'll be you're receiving a, le uh, a plenty of options here from cash and cash equivalents allowance for a bad debt you know available for sales as you choose what's what is uh, integrated to your account or to the to the recipient that you are going to send it into. Uh, we also have the product and service here in the description. Now, if you 
notice the product description if you already put that on the dashboard of your account it automatically populates this uh information but for now you can let's say uh click the service and for number two you can actually customize it for non-inventory or services so we're not going to deep uh uh dive deep deep into it we have a separate video for that i'm just checking it to show it to you guys and then there's a description the quantity and the rate and the amount all that you can actually uh make a customizable uh message here if you wanted some supplemental information like here let's say something like that and you can also add attachments to to further enhance the supplemental information the maximum size just it's worth uh worth noting that the maximum size is 20 mb so you have to be mindful about it and then yeah you there's two options here if you're still finalizing you know the the information and just making a draft you can save it uh and or you can save and send if you do that it will give you a preview of your uh if you of your the sales receipt the, the invoice here you can print it if you have uh, the uh, the printer if you really needed a hard copy or you can just send and close let's check what's going to happen okay there you have it you have successfully added the receipt in quickbooks online this feature really is a lifesaver when it comes to staying organized tracking expenses and being prepared for tax season if you found this tutorial helpful guys please please give it a thumbs up leave a comment if you have qu any questions throw it away don't forget to subscribe for more quickbooks online tutorials uh thanks for watching guys and see you on the next video